Those familiar with the i20's cabin layout will find an awful lot to like here as it's pretty much identical aside from the barn's larger body style creating more room inside. The seats are some of the most comfortable I've sat in in a small SUV. Behind that wheel we've got a 10.25 inch digital cluster for the driver. Complementing the driver display as standard you get an 8 inch touchscreen with smartphone integration. The additional space in the back provided by the barn's larger body style means it's quite easy to find a comfortable position. I'm a bit disappointed by legroom though, I can't really stretch out that far. On the bright side, headroom's good, so at 5'8", I'm still quite a way off the top of that roof lining. Though, if you've managed to cram three passengers into the back here, passengers who are six foot over may just be touching the top of that bit towards this side of the vehicle. The doors open decently wide, around 65 degrees. Once you've managed to fit a kid's seat into the back though, you can attach it to Isofix fittings to either rear bench, those come as standard. Once you've locked it in place, that'd be it, you won't have to faff around any longer.